and YouTube friends. Um, so today my topic of free dog training tips, I guess, is confidence building. So here I have Thor, he's five months old. He is very much a puppy. He's actually reaching that adolescent stage. Um, and he's gone from being like a normal sweet puppy to kind of being a terror because he has all of this untapped energy and he is terrorizing the cats. He's jumping on people, he's chewing on stuff. He's just really kind of a lot to handle at home. Um, but interestingly enough, I'm seeing a very different side of Thor. He got dropped off this morning and he's very unsure of himself. He's very insecure. Um, when I went to put the leash on to start this training session, it's his very first training session, he couldn't help himself. He nervous peed all over the place. Um, he really didn't want to approach me very much at first. He's just unsure and that's, that's totally expected. He has been at his home for the last, I guess, probably three months since he got pulled from his mom and siblings. Um, so confidence building is very, very important. You may think your dog doesn't have an issue with it, but you won't know until um, you go out to a new place or you leave your dog with somebody else or you encounter, I don't know, you put an umbrella up and all of a sudden that terrifies your dog, anything really. So how can we get ahead of that is the point of today's video. And how you can do that is very, very easy. Expose your dog to new things, even if you never take them out of your home. And you might be thinking, what does that mean? My home is my home, things aren't changing. Sure, not really. However, they can. Do you have a plastic kiddie pool you can get your dog to step in and walk through? Do you have a plastic kiddie pool you could fill of empty soda bottles and cans that they can, you know, sniff for treats in the bottom of? Do you have a tarp you could lay out and have them walk over or take their kibble and throw it across and so they're standing on it and it sounds funny, um, but they're still eating their food and it, they're not worried about the tarp because they have these delicious treats. Um, anything like that, a piece of plywood, you could create a little obstacle course out of rocks and, and pieces of wood and have them jump over, go under, get creative. A bucket, can you get them to you know, walk past a bucket or walk with you while you're tapping a bucket and it's making a funny noise. There is endless things you could come up with. Um, however, right now I just have the place caught here, which is a big enough hurdle for him. He has not seen it. He's not super comfortable with it. So I'm going to show you how to get him through that fear. And he's not terribly afraid of it, but he's definitely not very confident just stepping onto it. Um, so I'm gonna use treats. I'm using freeze-dried beef liver. They're very tasty. I call them crack for dogs. Um, and he seems to like them, which is great. Thor, come. Okay. So I'm gonna put one. Good boy. I put one on the place paw in the middle. He has to get at least his front paws on to reach it. And that's enough to start. We're gonna build from there. Thor. That's a good boy. So that time he went all the way across. He put his back paws on too. He's already making progress. When I asked him at first with no treats just to see what he would do, he wouldn't touch it. He acted like it was made out of molten lava. A little dramatic, but can we blame him if he has not been exposed to stuff like this before? Of course he doesn't have the confidence. Okay, Thor. Good place. We even got a tail wag. Good job, buddy. So that time, instead of throwing the treat and just letting him grab it and go, I'm holding the treat. I want him to be on the place cup for a little bit longer while eating that treat. So he's realizing, A, this place cut is not hurting me, killing me, bothering me in any way. This treat is pretty delicious. Maybe this thing really isn't that bad. So we're gonna continue that until he's able to just step on and sit on the place cot calmly. And then we're gonna do that same process with new things. I use the place command. Um, so once, excuse you buddy, good boy. That's a great sign. He chose to get up on it on his own. There's no treats involved. I didn't guide him. Good job, mister. Um, so anyway, so once he knows place, I can use it on anything. Trees that have been cut and there's a big stump behind or a boulder, a bench. Um, anything that he can get up onto and I will intentionally expose him to different things because I want him to know that hey they're not a problem nothing to worry about no need to stress come on Thor Good 
job, good. So I've already gone through his first lesson of um, sit and break. He's got a, a general idea of what break means and he knows what sit means for sure. So now I'm just using it on top of something new, which makes it 10 times harder, but he's got it. It only took, what, four times of me asking? And he's doing it. That's a great sign. He's not overly fearful. He's willing to try new things. He's not, he's like middle of the road confidence. I'm gonna get him up here. Good boy. Your leash is all tangled. Good boy. Break. Good job. Four. Four. Nice. Nice. Sit. Good boy. Good. Good. Break. Good. The other thing I want to note about Thor specifically right now is that when he's on the place cot, his tail is still loose. It's not wagging, but it's loose. It's not pinned under. Um, and he's sitting up with his head up, which is a very confident position. Sometimes when dogs are really less confident than he is and unsure of new things, they'll get on place and they'll want to lay right down or they'll be hunched over and their head is tucked down. And that's okay. That might be where your dog starts. If that's the case, don't give them a treat when they're hunched over like that. Try to pat them under their chin to get their head to come up. If you can get their body into a confident position, you're kind of tricking their brain into doing it too. So it works. I've done it with hundreds of dogs. Um, give them that treat from up here so they have to look up to get it. You'll get there. You'll just need a few more reps. Nice. 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 <laughs> now we've got a wagging tail, huh? Good boy, good, break, good job, very good, good. All right, so that's your free training tip for today. You can do this with dogs of any age. I think that holds true for all of my training tips actually.